Priscilla Grimm has been deeply involved in the media aspect of Occupy Wall Street from its very beginning. Dan Rather once described her as the real moving force behind Occupy Wall Street and even went so far as to allege that she runs the movement from her living room computer. Although Rather's exaggerated claim earned him much scorn, no one can deny that Grimm has been very influential in the movement. We sat down with Grimm and discussed her work as 17 and the nature of the Occupy movement. Here are a few minutes from that interview. I'm the director of the organization, one of the directors on the organization that we founded, the Occupy Solidarity Network, which we founded to both support the team that runs OccupyWallaceT.org, as well as raise money for direct political action um, in any political action that supports the mission of the Occupy movement, which is loosely to, you know, cede corporate control of our governments. We support a lot of media efforts. So we're supporting um, We Are the 99% uh, Tumblr blog. Uh, we support the website OccupyWallaceT.org. Um, we also are providing um, promotional support for the upcoming one year anniversary of September 17th. Um, we also uh, support like um, one of the biggest Twitter handles um, for the movement at Occupy Wall ST. It's a team of people who don't want to be in charge of anything, right? And so what a lot of us wind up doing on the team is we all go out and um, work with different parts of the movement. And in our working with different parts of the movement just means that we're listening just means that we're reading what people are posting, we're listening at meetings, we're listening to hear what are the big ideas that are coming out that are resonating amongst lots of different communities and not just with one particular group. And then we bring all those ideas back to our group and we say this is what we're seeing here, this is what we're seeing there, so what should we actually support and that's how those decisions are made. Um, you know, we don't really come up with a lot of our own messaging at all. Um, recently, we, you know, we really try to just amplify what's coming out of the movement. That's really our job, amplification. And, um, you know, any movement uh, piece of media, if it's doing its job correctly, is going to do that and is not going to lead people into what a cadre of editors feel that they should be, you know, paying attention to or considering. Everything that we do is to promote direct action in the streets. One of the things that we will not support ever is, you know, petition drives, electronic petitions, anything that starts with petition basically just gets laughed at by the group. If you really want to change the world today, you need to go out in the streets because the culture in which we live in the United States particularly is very comfortable with us sitting behind screens and being mediated in that way. And our mission is to drive people from that mediation into the street and into demanding what they need to have to be provided for them. Well, right now we're in a huge outreach mode for um, September 17th to get people out to the financial district on September 17th. And the great thing about the financial district is because it's filled with these very confusing streets and alleyways, and all you have to do is keep moving and you're not going to be arrested. Um, all you have to do is keep moving. And the, the other thing that's kind of genius about it is because as most of New York is, it's mixed residential and um, business. So they're never going to use gas on protesters in New York City. They can't. Is so, the goal for S17 only to disrupt the financial district for that day or for a few days? Or is there um, something beyond that, that as well, far as Well, I goal? mean, the dream is to shut it down, right? Uh, but we don't, we're not going to know until that day if enough people are going to show up to do that. So we can only hope and keep doing our outreach as best as we can and providing tools for people to get here. Would you say that shutting down Wall Street was the original goal of the occupation as well? You know, it's funny because 
we didn't even know people <laughs> people were gonna stay. That's our show. Thanks for watching. Yeah, but don't wait till next week to get in touch. Give us a call and send us an email. Let us know what you think of the show, if you'd like us to do anything different. And if you'd like to participate, we'd like your help. So give a call at 646-580-8446 or send an email at info at occupypublicaccesstv.com. See you next week.